So this is not, I haven't prepared anything, any, any talk for this really. Um, I just wanted to show something which I thought was cool. Um, oh God. Uh, oh. Hang on. I'll be quick. Hold on. Can you see my computer? Oh, I can look. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to increase the volume because the stupid touch bar has got this. <laughs> oh, no, here we go. Okay, all right. All right, so this is something I made a, a while back. <clears throat> so I bought, I bought these things. So I'm not sure if, if what, everybody does this, but when I, when I listen to music... Um, and I like the drums. I, I like to pretend I'm playing the drums. Um, and I thought, well, maybe, maybe, maybe I can play the drums. But I, then I got on a drum kit and I realized I was very bad at it. And I was like, well, maybe it's because I've been practicing my whole life without a kit there. And I thought, well, maybe if I get like, maybe there's a product out there that allows me to play the drums in the air. Um, and it turns out there is. Uh, so there's the, these things. They're, they're little Bluetooth. Um, it's like a it's a Bluetooth sensor, really. Uh, it comes with an app. Um, you can connect it to your phone, and then you can play your drums. Um, I, I didn't like the built-in sounds, and, the, uh, and one problem was that the um, the the hi hat sound was too loud, and I wanted to turn it down. But they have no mixer in the in the drumming app, um, and I thought, uh, well, maybe I can build my own app. Um, I figured that they probably spoke MIDI, um, and I figured that they were, I knew that they were Bluetooth, so, and I know that there's a Bluetooth, um, there's a new Bluetooth, pro, um, web Bluetooth thing in the browser, maybe I can connect to these um, in the browser, and, I mean, I've sort of spoiled, spoiled it, like, you know that the answer is yes, I could do it, uh, well, I probably can, we'll see, it's a demo, so anything can happen, but, here we go. These things, uh, these things are called uh, free drum. Free drum dot rocks. Uh, I, I can't actually. I, I, I'm not actually any good at this at all. So I'm not, and I'm not even going to attempt. But see, I, I just paired this device. Uh, it, oh, yeah, I didn't really design this with um accessibility in mind. Uh, it's very dark. It looks pretty on my end. Oh, it says it's connecting. Hang on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, demo. I tested this last night and it worked. Hold on. Come on. What? I've got more. Um, web Bluetooth. Oh my god, why is it doing this to me now? Yeah, yeah. I knew this would happen. Okay. Hang on. Refresh the page. Turn it on. Yeah, paired. Oh, huh, ready. Okay. So. Yeah. And then there's the, hi -hat, the hat over here. And you can, there's up to four. You can get one, the, get one that straps to your foot, and it'll play the kick drum. Uh, I don't know if it, this is actually educational at all, but it's kind of cool. Oh, I'll just put it in my shoe. Which way? That way. Oh, I have to connect it. Oh. Which one? This, I've got three. I know one of these. Maybe this one. I don't have. Yep. Yeah, 
There we go. Okay, so anyway. Um, <coughs> so th th this is kind of cool. Uh, let me just show you. I, I want to just go through the code just quickly. Um, oh, that's... What's that called? Bluetooth uh, something. I've forgotten what it's called. Jazz Bluetooth. That's it. So one thing which sucks is that um, the the browser doesn't have any built. So you you probably remember back in the day playing video games and they they like made like little honky noises um, for music, uh, and they'd, they'd be able to do this um, in. You know, they didn't come with an audio CD. They were playing MIDI files. Does everybody who doesn't know what MIDI is? Everybody. Oh, okay. So MIDI is just like instead of instead of sending audio, it sends instructions. So, for example, this thing, um, when when I do this, it sends an instruction to say, um, you know, note C5, velocity, um, the, like the the volume 100. Um, while well, this will be um, C at volume 20. This will be volume 100. And it just sends instructions, and then you have to have a, some some uh, something which will convert those instructions into sounds. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, browsers just doesn't have this built in anymore. Um, I think they used to, but they don't anymore. And I also use this as an example. Uh, I wanted to try to write code. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a real shame um, that. So this is this is how I, I code stuff all just in one file um, when I'm mucking around because it stops you from trying to uh, make things, mm, organize things. Uh, so I'll make that a bit bigger. Uh, yeah, I tried to do this without without bundling as well. Um, so everything here is loaded from a script tag. Um, oh god! So you have to get these stupid names. I had to reverse engineer a lot of this stuff, um, and then. I found out after I'd finished it that like the information was on a forum. Uh, I, I spent like six hours like trying to figure out getting the messages, trying to decode because you just get binary. Uh, the MIDI message is binary. Um, I just had to guess that it was MIDI. Turns out it was, but with this offset, and I had to mess around with it anyway. I, I figured it out eventually. Uh, let me find the Bluetooth. Oh yeah, so you just do this this kind of stuff here. Um, you, you connect, you get the services. So each one of these devices um, has um, services that it provides, and then those um, services have characteristics. And then um, you can listen to uh, the, the characteristics are the things which are sort of like um, producing values. So for example here, uh, let's find out what's listening for this. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so... Uh, this particular device, um, uh, when it no, oh, that's when it disconnects. Here we go. Characteristic value, yeah. So, so when the characteristic changes, so this characteristic is this this note. I I parse it, convert it into uh, MIDI instructions, and then I send it um, using this thing called. I have to use a jazz plugin. It, it's it looks on this not a very cool looking website, um, but if you download this thing. And get this Chrome extension. It allows you to send. Uh, it gives you like a virtual MIDI instrument in the browser that you can send MIDI in instructions to, and then it plays it. So the browser is actually not playing the sound. Um, a service which is running on my computer, which is interpreting the messages, is playing the sound, which is unfortunate. Yeah. So you have to have that plugin and the extension installed. Um, but then, yeah, you can do cool stuff. Um, but yeah. It, I guess yeah. What I wanted to show was, um, yeah, you can do cool stuff with web Bluetooth. You can connect to devices. You can probably connect to your your phone or your um, or your your watch, smartwatch, uh, and uh, you can query it, figure out what what things, what services it provides, um, and then uh, pretend you can even send it messages. So, for example, this thing allows um, uh, allows you to like configure it. So. Um, you know, d different sensitivities for the different drums and positions and stuff. I can send a message to these things which configures it or updates it. I can send it a binary blob to update the firmware on it. Um, so, yeah, any devices that you have which speak Bluetooth, if you can manage to dig up the, uh, the documentation for how their Bluetooth protocol works, you can potentially write your own custom software for it. Um, another one more interesting thing is... Um, uh, the uh, I, I found that 
Uh, so th see these things. Whenever I move one of these, it's, it's like it's, the, the green ones are notes, the blue ones are control messages. So that you'll notice that it sends like um, sort of incrementally blip blip. That's it. Um, it uses a MIDI con um, a MIDI uh, control message to communicate the battery level. It's like they're sort of abusing the, the MIDI protocol to communicate um, device information. Um, they also support actually querying the device information, but I didn't know that when I figured this out. Um, but the interesting thing here is that the... Uh, I thought, you know, those little buttons, you know, it's kind of like a light on a real piece of hardware. Um, you know, whenever something comes in, it lights it, and whenever, the, you know, and it sort of fades over time. Uh, this was blocking the MIDI messages from being processed, the CSS. Uh, so that, that I thought was interesting. So I had too, many, um, too much CSS happening, um, and it was delaying my drum hits. So I actually had to, I had to modify my CSS to get my drum hits to be performant. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. So that's, that's all I wanted to show. Thanks. More questions on web Bluetooth? When is it coming? I guess you've got to Google that. <laughs> 